Each browser handles security a little differently, specifically the displaying of mixed content. What mixed content is, is when you have a secure website, meaning that it's received certificates, it's been validated as being a secured website, trying to display content from or insecure locations. This could be either an image that you're pulling from a separate system or you're grabbing a video, whether it's from YouTube or another source. And if these resources are not secure, you will have mixed content because you have a secure web page with insecure content. Each browser handles this a little bit differently. And recently, Firefox has made some updates that has taken a little bit stronger stance on this. They've decided to block all mixed content by default. In Firefox, the messaging happens like this. In your address bar in the upper left hand corner you will see this little shield. If you click on it, it will say that something has been blocked. You will have the option to be able to disable the protection on this particular page or not do anything or just keep blocking the page. If you choose that, if you choose keep blocking, this shield will just go away and you will no longer be alerted. However, if you do say keep blocking, you will not be able to see the content of that. So iLearn is secure. iLearn is a secure website. We have uh, security on it. We have uh, certificates on it. And sometimes you will find some course content that is not secure, um, that may not come from a secure web address. To a quick way to know if your content or your web address is secure is looking at the address bar, HTTPS. If there is an S after HTTP, you will know that the content is deemed secure. So here I am in iLearn. I'm informing my students that there is a video that they are supposed to watch. However, there's no video being displayed. If I look at my address bar in the upper left hand corner, you will see that I have the shield. If I select the shield, I have a couple of options. It says Firefox has blocked content that isn't secure. I can select keep blocking, but once again, that means I will not be able to see the video. Or I can say disable protection on this page. If I select Disable Protection on this page, the page will reload and you will see that the video loads properly. I'm able to see it and I'm able to interact with it. With Firefox, they are now blocking all insecure content. So whether that's videos or CSS files, images or any other file that you may be pointing to. In Chrome, they're a little bit less strict with these um, insecurities, but at the same time, they may change this in the future. So it's important to get content good. In Chrome, the way that you s what they will do is they'll represent this little shield in the address bar. So when I'm in iLearn, I can see on the right side of the address bar that I have this little shield. If I hover over it, it says this page includes scripts um, with unauthenticated resources. If I click on this, it asks me if I want to load the unsafe script or if I want to just learn more or select done. In this particular case, Chrome is blocking a CSS file which loads the styling of the page. If I say load unsafe script, and I navigate back to that item, you can see some styling has changed. So in Chrome, you will see the shield in the upper right hand corner of your address bar. In Firefox, it will be in the upper left hand corner indicating to you. That's how you can disable it to continue to see the content and continue to interact with iLearn and possibly some insecure content that course authors may have posted. If you have any questions, please contact the help desk.